Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys my 500k hut team that I've been playing with, and so far it's been an absolute blast playing with it, so I thought, you know what, I'll show you guys what I'm rocking with and how my synergies look, and this is kind of like an upgrade over the 300k team that I already posted before, except it's a little more well-rounded in terms of offense and defense, so I thought I would update you guys on how the team is looking, so uh, first of all, let me go to the stat central, you guys probably saw a couple of players there, but... Uh, right now, I am 49-7-2 in terms of overall record in HUT. And you can see in my past like 20 games that I've played, there have been a couple losses here and there. Most of these guys are pretty good that I lose to. And most of the games are either uh, very, very close or they are pretty much blowouts. So uh, this team really does work. So I will show you guys right at the team now. And I'll go through the players. Okay guys, so here is the team, and as you guys can already see, there's a lot of new faces added in, and maybe some players that will surprise you. So, I uh, will go through all the lineups first before talking about some of the individual players, and some of the strengths of each lineup. So, on my first line, I got Michael Grabner, Doug Gilmore, and Team of the Week, Logan Couture. On the second, I got Darren Helm, Ryan Getzlaff, and Marion Gabrick. On the third, I got Nicholas Backstrom, Patrice Bergeron, and we got Dusty Bufflin on that third line right wing spot. He's an absolute beast. Uh, Carl Hagelin, Ryan Kessler, and Patrick Marlowe on the fourth. And going on to the defense. So definitely one of the best defensive cores that I could buy with about 150 to 200k just about. And honestly, I think it's better than buying like, say, two hot heroes and then making the rest of the defenders worse. I think this is an overall really good defensive lineup. So Chris Letang, Duncan Keith, Victor Hedman, Alex Petrangelo, Kevin Shattenkirk, and Ryan Suter. And with that, it's a trap and tape-to-tape -tape synergies. Like, those defenders actually play a lot better than their stats actually say. So, uh, that is my defense and offense. I should also show you the goalies as well. Head coach, I have Greg Richards and goaltenders. I have Henrik Lundqvist and Martin Jones. So, this team overall is solid. I mean, you can't complain about any of the players on this team. So, right now, I'm going to go through some of the individual players that I like on this team as well as some of the strengths that this team has to offer. Okay, so I think it's worth talking about the two non-rare goal players I have on this team, Michael Grabner and Darren Helm. And although their overall stats aren't that high, just take a look at their skating category. 89 skating, 89 skating. If we actually break them down, they have identical skating categories. And I'll show you guys by the stats, they have 93 acceleration, uh, 88 agility, Go down a few as well, there's 93 speed. So if you're talking about speed, Michael and Grabner and Darren Helm compete really well against some of the best players in NHL 17 HUT. And uh, although they don't have the best shot or the best checking categories, uh, they are just solid players overall that you can pick up for three or 400 coins each. And just because I have that speedster category on, you'll see here, I'll quickly go to the synergy. Uh, speedsters gives a plus two bonus to acceleration, speed, and agility. So they're 93 in acceleration and speed is actually 95 and that just makes playing with them so much fun and it uh, gives so many chances to get breakaways and just throws the opponent off like most people don't expect Michael Grammer to be that fast but they actually are also the first liners Doug Gilmore and Lone Couture uh, Lone Couture team of the week I bought for 35,000 coins and he's, he's a pretty good card the only reason why I really have him is because he does have two synergies uh, the defensively responsible and the tape to tape and although i mean you pretty much could pick up a better card for thirty-five thousand coins because he does have those two synergies and he's an overall really good player uh it just fits that first line really well uh al alongside with him he's got doug gilmore and Doug Gilmore, once again, just has so many synergy points. Defensively responsible and passing playmaker as well. Uh, just evens out all the synergies on my whole team. And yeah, the first line does compete pretty well against most people's first lines. But the second line is really where it starts kind of changing. So the second line, as I already mentioned, I have Darren Helm, Ryan Getzlaff, and Marion Gabrick. And this lineup really throws a lot of people off because most people don't expect to have two really fast wingers on their second line. Most people will put out their hot hero cards or their team of the week cards on their first line, and they don't really have anything to combat uh, really, really fast players like Marion Gabrick and Darren Helm on that second line. So I score a lot of goals because I spent a lot of time in their offensive zone or defensive zone. And uh, having Ryan Getzlaff down the center, I had Patrice Berger on there before, but Ryan Getzlaff has an amazing one-timer category. I, I don't know if it's exactly an amazing category, but he scores a lot of goals from that slot point. And as long as I can give him that one-timer pass, he usually wires those shots into the back of the net. So this second line is the goal-scoring lineup to me. And on the third, we have Dustin Bufflin, Patrice Bergeron, and Nicholas Backstrom. So for those people that know or don't know, uh, this year, chemistry has no effect in this game. Last year, or the few years we've had of NHL, 
Uh, if you have a bad chemistry, it actually makes your team worse. But uh, this year, since it only uses synergies, every single player can play the position without any, um, I guess, deduction in terms of how they play. So having Dustin Bufflin there, he's a solid overall player. And this whole third line is kind of like my uh, penalty kill as well as a pretty solid third line to score goals and just be defensively responsible. Uh, but Dustin Bufflin, honestly, you really have to try him out for yourself. When he has that puck on the right wing spot and, you know, they have a left defender that's kind of small like a Morgan Riley or they have like Jay Gardner's or whatever small defenders they have, uh, usually Dustin Bufflin does not get knocked down or give up the puck. If you really know how to stick handle properly and not give him the chance to poke the puck off you, Dustin Bufflin is like one of the like funniest as well as toughest players to play against in terms of offense and I, I just wanted to try him out for the first time I think I've already played like 15 16 games with him and honestly he is such a blast to play with because not only does he have the body size he also has that amazing shot that awesome one-timer as well so if you can feed Dustin Buff from that puck he is one of the best goal scorers on this lineup by far also Patrice Bergeron I have him there because he has 95 face-offs Nicholas Backstrom, just he's one of the highest overall players that I could pick up for passing playmaker. And I know there's some better passing playmakers out there, but with a 500k budget, uh, it kind of just fits in. And Nicholas Backstrom is one of the best third line players I've played with so far. So on my fourth, I got Patrick Marlowe, Ryan Kessler, and Carl Haglin. All, honestly, once again, they are my penalty kill lineup, as well as Ryan Kessler, he's got 90 faceoffs as well, so he can win those faceoff draws. Uh, Patrick Marlowe as well. He's also got a pretty fast skating category as well with 88 skating. Uh, Carl Haglin with 91 skating. So this whole lineup is pretty dangerous. It can put a lot of opponents on their heels, especially when there's four lines with four groups of right wingers and left wingers that can all skate. Uh, I just come in waves of attacks and most people cannot defend against it. And I can usually blow out games and rip people apart right away in the first couple periods. Okay, so going on to the defense now. I really think this is like the best strength of this whole roster is that not only do I have really, really good offense, but I have a really good defensive core with like Chris Tang, Duncan Keith, Victor Hedman, Petrangelo, Shining Kirk, Suter. Like all those defenders are solid in terms of defending breakaways or odd man rushes. Uh, they are just all overall solid players. And the reason why these cards are even better is because all the synergies work. And you can see here, uh, Duncan Keith, tape to tape synergies, Chris Tang, tape to tape. Alex Petrangelo, he's got the It's a Trap. Victor Hedman, It's a Trap. Ryan Suter, Tape to Tape. Uh, Kevin Shattenkirk, Tape to Tape. So you're actually buying these defenders uh, like better than they're actually like said to be, right? Uh, you're obviously buying a Crystal Tang with 91 skating, 88 shot, 92 hands, 86 checking, and 88 defense. But uh, you're also getting those synergies working as well, which makes that card even better. Let me, let me just show you guys the Tape to Tape synergies here. Plus three bonus to passing, offensive awareness, and poise. That's for every single player on the team, as well as it's a trap. Plus three bonus to stick checking, defensive awareness, and discipline. Makes the whole team better by so much. And I can't stress enough to actually complete your synergies. Last but not least are my goaltenders. And honestly, I just put in the highest overall goalie into that position that also filled out my synergies. And you can see there, uh, Henrik Lundqvist is kind of like the highest overall goalie I could pick up that also had the it's a trap synergies. And since this year there's no goalie fatigue and goalie fatigue cards, you never have to start up your backup goaltender to recover your guys. You can have your starting goaltender start every single game without worry of losing games. So Martin Jones is just there for synergy with the tape-to-tape -tape synergy. So uh, over, overall, you just want to put in the highest overall goalie that you can. Uh, so he has the best chance of making those saves from cross creasers to breakaway goals. Uh, you just want to have the highest overall goalie in there. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this 500k team update. Uh, I really just wanted to post this video out because I really think it was a huge upgrade from the 300k team build I posted a couple weeks ago on YouTube. Uh, this one's a lot more balanced with really good defenders and also a really balanced offensive lineups. Uh, I think with my other team build, it was very imbalanced in terms of my first couple lines. But this one is a very dangerous lineup that I think a lot of you guys will find interesting if you want to copy this lineup. Or if it maybe will give you some ideas on what players you want to buy uh, from the marketplace or how you want to work your synergies to make your team better. I just hope this video was informational for the most part and help give you guys some ideas on how to make your teams better and uh, play, try to get to Division 1, obviously. That's everybody's goal right now. But that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. 
Uh, feel free to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And don't be afraid to also tweet me your lineups on my Twitter page and I can take a look at some of your teams. Just tweet me at LambChops99. I'll take a look at your team and also leave you a favorite if I think your team is really awesome. So that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Basically what I want to do is I want to bring the puck around the board so that my wingers can get the puck right away and they'll be the first one down to that puck in the Especially on power plays, um, a lot of people will not understand that defensive zone.